Yo, what is up guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here today. We're gonna show you guys a really cool card trick, but before we get into that, we got a really cool three AirPod giveaway going on, on our channel. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway, a few steps. First, like this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, turn those notifications on with the bell icon. Make sure you comment at least one time on our channel. And then also we'll have a link in our description to our Instagram. And there you got to follow our Instagram and we'll also have a post about the three AirPod giveaway. And anyways, guys, let's get right into this pretty cool card trick. So we need our spectator, Adam, to select any card in the deck. Doesn't matter. Don't let me see it. I'm going to turn around, make sure the camera knows what it is. Perfect. You got it? Yep. We're going to take it, place it somewhere into the center of the deck, maybe right around there. And we're going to push it in. Now, Adam, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set the deck down right here. And I want you to think about what half the deck you like more, the top half or the bottom half. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the deck right now to the top and hot in the bottom. This is the top. That is the bottom. Which one do you prefer? Bottom. Bottom. I'm going to give you the bottom half of the deck and I'm going to keep the top. Now, I'm thinking your selection is somewhere in the top half of the deck. And not just anywhere in the top half. I think it's in the top five cards, maybe. I think it's in the top five cards. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you these five cards. And if you see your card, don't say anything. Wait until I'm finished. And then I'm going to ask you a few questions, all right? Here we go. Don't say anything if you see your card. Now, Adam, did you see your card in one of these five cards? I did. You did? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that half of the deck. And once again, we have one, two, three, four, five cards. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to snap my fingers. And you'll notice one card happens to disappear. Do you still see your card here? I don't. You don't? Well, if you actually look in the deck... It happens to be one card face down. It just happens to be your selection, the three of hearts. All right, guys, that is the trick. Let's learn how to do this. So, cool part is there is no setup to this trick. It's the middle trick, so you don't need any setup at all. You just need a deck of playing cards. So, how to start this trick? Um, you can have the card shuffled, right? Doesn't matter. Shuffle as much as the spectator would like. Doesn't have to be your deck. You can use a um, borrowed deck. Doesn't matter. You need to have them select a card, and you're going to control it to the top any way you want. Um, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the way I did it is I had them select a card, right? And what I did is I just did the turnover pass, where you just get a break, right? And I turned over the bottom cards, turned these over, and just set the deck down. That's one way to do it. I mean, you can do it any way you want. I'm going to show you a simpler way, just for the beginners out there. Have them select a card, right? And they look at it. And it's important that you don't see the card. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but it's just best for the uh, fact for you not to know what card they selected. I, I think it's much better. So just make just say, hey, don't show me the card. All right, make sure everyone can see it. So you turn around, they look at the card. What you're going to do is you're going to place it somewhere into the middle. It doesn't really have to be perfect. And what you're going to do is when you push the card in, you're not going to push it in normally. You're going to push it down on the card when it gets to about here. Now, when you push down on the card, what happens is it creates a natural break in the deck. So what you can do from here is you're going to stick your pinky in this break so you can hold the break like that. So you have a pinky break now. And you can do a couple of things from here. You could either give the deck a few cuts. So take a few cards from the top part of the deck, put them down, take some more, right? You can do this as many times as you want, but the last cut you do has to be the bottom half. So you can do this as many times as you want. But once you get that break, I'm here at the break, just put the rest of the cards on top. Because if you do it again, you're, you're not going to control their selection to the top of the deck. Or you could just do it a much simpler way. Not really much simpler, but put the card in, a double undercut, so you get the break. All right, you have the break, that's exaggerated. And you're gonna take half the cards from the bottom, so you're holding it in your hand like this. You're gonna take half the cards from the bottom, 
bring it to the top, slide on top, and then the rest of the cards and bring it on top. And that simply controls their card to the top of the deck. Now from here, what you can do is you can give the cards some false shuffles, uh, whatever false shuffle you guys know out there. And you can give it a riffle shuffle too, just making sure that you keep their selection on top of the deck as you shuffle it so I know their selection is still on top. So you want to convince them that their card is lost. You can do this as many times as you want. Just make sure it stays on top. So once their card is on top of the deck, um, you don't need to know what it is. You're going to say we're going to split the deck into two halves. Now, doesn't matter how you split it. Um, you can have the spectator split it. So let's say they split it. Just say, just make sure you know which one's the top and which one's the bottom. No matter what, you're always going to use the top half of the deck. So this is something known as Magician's Choice. So you're going to force the top half of the deck on them. So what you're going to do is you're going to say, I know this is the top half, this is the bottom. Make sure you clarify that with them first so they think it's really their choice. So you say, which one do you want, top or bottom? If they say bottom, you say, all right, that's fine. I'm going to give you the bottom half of the deck. All right. And you're going to, and then you yourself, the magician, will take the top half. Now, let's say they happen to choose, hey, I want the top half of the deck. You'll say, okay, that's fine. We'll use the top half of the deck and we'll set the bottom half right over here or you can hold on to it. So that is the magician's choice. So no matter what happens, whichever half they choose, you're always going to choose the one with their selection on top and they get the bottom half of the deck, you get the top. So just use magician's choice for that. What you're going to do from here is you're going to say, I think your card is somewhere in the top half of the deck. And not just anywhere, the top five cards. So you have a few options here. Um, you're going to top count off the top five cards, right? And when you get to three, you you just get, you could either do this. You could put the next two cards on top, or you can just count them normally. But you're going to have to do a move if you count them no normally that just looks like this which is you just bringing two cards to the bottom. And what this does is it puts their sele selection in the second position. So whatever you do, all you have to do, no matter what happens, you need their um, selection in the second position. So their selection's on top, right? You go one, two, or um, one, two, three, four, five, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off the top card and you're gonna take the next one. Right, and you're just going to put them both to the bottom of the deck. So, after you do that, right, one, two, three, four, five, we're going with the selection nine of clubs. All right, so you count off five cards, one, right, and you just talk, you're just talking to them. You can make eye contact, right, and you're going to say, it, ask them, I think you, your card is in, you know, top five cards here. I'm going to show you. Don't say anything if you see it. So, once again, their selection is going to be in the nine of clubs here. It's going to be the top card. So you're going to flip the cards over, put them on top of the deck like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start peeling off the cards. You're going to say, don't say anything, all right? No matter what happens, their card's going to be the second card. And what you're going to do is you're going to peel off the top card, right? And you're going to peel off the second card. This is their card. You're going to hold a break above this card, right? And when you take this third card, you're going to put this card on the bottom of the deck like that. So you're dropping it off. Right, so now the nine club is here, and then you're just gonna count off the rest of the cards. Right, from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this part of the deck, you're gonna say, We don't need this anymore, we're gonna place it right there. All you're doing is since you stole off the nine of clubs, which was in the second position, one more time, it should look like this, right? Get a break, put it on the bottom of the deck, peel off the rest of the cards, take these cards, put them on there. From here, you're gonna say, Make sure the cards are squared up, you're gonna say, We have five cards. You only have four, so what you're going to do is you're going to say, one, you're going to bring this card back to the bottom, like this, you're going to put it on the bottom, two, three, four, five. Makes it look like you have five cards. So once again, one, put this card on the bottom, two, three, four, five. From here, you can show them the cards. Their card will disappear and reappear in the deck, face up or face down, whichever way you want it to appear. That is the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is Card Shuffler, 99. Peace out.